Raya could hardly believe she was here. As she and her parents pulled up to the towering gates of the prestigious college, she felt a chill run through her. It wasn't just the excitement of her first day, though that was part of it. This was something different. The campus was more beautiful than she'd ever imagined, sprawling lawns punctuated with fountains, and old, ivy-clad buildings gave the place a magical charm. This college was the dream of every teenager who yearned for freedom and a life of discovery. For her, it was even more than that. It was a fresh start. Take care of yourself, honey, her dad, John, said with a smile. And remember, if you ever need anything. Dad, she said, laughing a little. I'll be fine. And it's not like I'll be alone. With a last wave, she watched them drive away, taking with them a piece of her heart. As the car disappeared, she turned and took a deep breath. She was on her own now, and as terrifying as that was, she was ready. As Raya made her way toward the campus center, she felt herself blend in with the hundreds of other new students, all buzzing with excitement. Just then, she noticed someone else walking nearby, a tall girl with wild curls and an infectious grin, looking around with the same wide-eyed wonder. Hi, Raya called out, taking a chance. The girl turned, looking a little surprised but smiling right away. Oh, hey, yeah, it's my first day. Can you believe this place? Raya laughed. It's like a movie set. I'm Raya, by the way. I'm Paige, she replied, extending her hand. They shook hands like they were sealing a pact, a silent promise that they'd navigate this overwhelming new world together. From that day on, Raya and Paige became inseparable. They walked to classes together, studied together, and shared meals in the campus cafe. They made each other laugh, swapped stories, and embraced the freedom that college life gave them. Paige was open, carefree, and a little wild, while Raya was more reserved, a little more cautious, but both found balance in their differences. Weeks turned into months, and the two friends became part of a bigger group of friends who laughed loudly in the dining hall, filled campus libraries with hushed giggles, and crowded into small dorm rooms for late-night study sessions that often turned into heart-to-heart -heart talks. College was exactly as they'd dreamed it would be, if not better. One chilly evening, as they prepared for their first-year party, Raya caught herself looking around the common room where she and Paige were getting ready. Everyone seemed so happy, so carefree. She wished she could feel that way too. But something from her past held her back, a secret she kept even from Paige. And though her friend didn't cry, she sensed that Paige noticed. There was a distance Raya couldn't bridge, a truth she wasn't ready to share. The annual party was everything they'd hoped for. Music blared, laughter echoed, and students from all over campus danced and sang. Raya and Paige dressed in their finest, giggling as they critiqued each other's outfits and snapped pictures. But in the midst of the fun, Raya felt a pang of dread when a fellow student, tipsy and unaware, innocently asked, Hey, Raya, you never talk about your family. What's your story? Raya's heart skipped a beat. She looked down, the warmth leaving her face. It's not that interesting, she muttered. Paige, who was watching nearby, noticed the discomfort in her friend's eyes and quickly changed the subject. But that night, after the party, she gently asked Raya, I know you don't like talking about your past, but you know you can tell me anything, right? Raya forced a smile, I know, maybe someday. The seasons changed, and with the new year, the rhythm of college life picked up once again. Parties, late nights, exams, and the ebb and flow of friendships, all were part of this world they had created together. Raya and Paige remained close, but Paige's curiosity lingered. She saw how Raya skirted any talk of family or avoided calls that came during their time together. One night, after a particularly wild party, Paige couldn't contain her curiosity any longer. Raya, she asked softly, we've been best friends for nearly two years now, but you've never introduced me to your family. Not even once. I mean, you've met my parents a dozen times. I can't shake the feeling you're hiding something. Can't you trust me? Raya's face darkened. It's not about trust, Paige. It's complicated. Paige sighed. 
I understand if you're not ready. But just know, I'm here for you. As their second year drew to a close, the talk of the year-end ceremony filled the air. It was a grand event where students and their families celebrated their achievements. Paige had already made plans for her family to attend and couldn't wait to introduce them to Raya's parents, assuming she would finally get the chance to meet them. On the day of the ceremony, excitement and nervousness buzzed in the crowd. Families and friends gathered, dressed in their best, as everyone prepared for the celebration. Paige waited by the entrance, eyes scanning the crowd for Raya. Then she spotted her friend, stepping out of a sleek black car, her face calm but her gaze a little uncertain. Walking beside her were two men. Paige's heart skipped as she watched them approach. Raya was flanked by the two men, both dressed sharply, each with a warm smile. Paige, Raya said softly, reaching her. These are, my dads. I know I haven't told you, and I'm sorry for that. This is John, and this is Michael. Paige's heart pounded as she shook their hands, struggling to process the revelation. This was the secret Raya had been hiding all this time, she had two fathers. But she couldn't understand why Raya had kept this from her. Later that evening, as the ceremony winded down and students gathered for one last night on campus, Paige and Raya sat quietly on a bench. The familiar comfort of their friendship settled around them, but tonight, there was an air of finality. I never wanted to lie to you, Raya began. Her voice trembled as she spoke. Growing up, it wasn't easy having two dads. It was different, and in school, the other kids made sure I knew it. No one wanted to be my friend, Paige. I was that kid, the one everyone whispered about. So, when we met, I thought if I told you, you'd feel the same. I was terrified of losing you. Paige reached over and took her friend's hand, squeezing it tightly. Raya, you're my best friend, my sister. I would never turn my back on you. Raya's face softened, and a single tear slipped down her cheek. I'm so lucky to have you, Paige. You have no idea. And as they sat together, the weight of Raya's secret lifted, replaced by a new bond of trust and understanding. That night, they made a silent vow, no more secrets, no more walls. Whatever the future held, they would face it together.